Josh Cast dun, 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 oh, it's the podcast that won't die. Dun, 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 oh, at best there are two to three listeners. Dun, 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 oh, but I have to let go of the results. Dun, 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 oh, and do it for the sake of doing it. Dun, 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 according to dun, 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 the Buddhists. Dun, 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 Josh Cast. Dun, 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 Josh Cast, dun, 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 yeah. I was just li- listening to a radio show, and they were talking about Buddhism, uh, and uh, they were talking about the notion of um, mindfulness, and, and that that anger uh, is uh, an emotion that ultimately is very limiting, uh, and that in in a way it's almost an addiction. We think anger will help us. Uh, feel better or work through something or protect us, but in the re- it's uh, in reality it's uh, kind of for, uh, causing us to not see all the other aspects of the situation, and I'm okay with that. I really am. Uh, love anger. I anger is the one thing that's keeping me going. You know, if uh, uh, some people have heroin, I have anger. Ah, oh, love it. It's phenomenal. Let's keep it. Uh, anger is beautiful. Anger, it's delicious. That's what it is. I always like a good dose of anger. Uh, you know, I if I'm feeling a little tired, I dip right into my anger and bam, I'm, I'm ready for action. I'm ready to go out there in that world and push that anger down and not be offensive and probably give myself health problems. That is how I roll, baby. That is how I roll. Transition, 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 transition. I want to do a radio show. I want to do. I want. I want this episode of the Flapcast to be a little bit of a radio show. Uh, I, I, uh, I never actually listened to any of the radio broadcasts of the original Shadow, uh, but I always. I, I liked the movie. The movie was good, and uh, and and I always. I wanted to do a ra- some version of the a radio version of the Shadow. So I think I'm going to do that right now, ladies and gentlemen. The Shadow. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. Ah, 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 ah. We take you now to a dark street. It's a windy evening. The Santa Ana winds are blowing through the streets of Burbank. And a man, a very shady man, is walking down an alley. And at once, he hears a voice. Roger Johnson. I know what evil lurks in your heart. Who's there? Who said that? I know what evil lurks in your heart. Where, where are you? Who are you? I am the shadow. Uh, uh, I, I, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I know the evil that lurks in your heart. I know that when you walked into Starbucks and you ordered a frappuccino, you were slightly rude with the barista. Yes, yes, I, I, I was. It was. Uh, uh, is that what this is about? Is that what you're? Is that what you're going? Is is that why I'm being? Are, are you accosting me? Yes. How dare you treat the barista that way? Baristas work hard, very, very hard, 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 hard. Ooh, nice echo effect. Be quiet, quiet, quiet. Sorry, sorry. How dare you be slightly rude to the barista? Who do you think you are? Well, I mean, it, it, look, I walked in there, and the barista was talking with uh, another guest, and I was clearly waiting. I Clearly, I wanted to order something, and, and I finally I just said, sorry. I, I, said, I even apologized. I said, say, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I really would like to order this. I'm in kind of a hurry. And whose fault was it to be in a hurry? Well, I mean, I guess technically, it, I mean, I could have left five minutes earlier, so I wasn't rushing to work. But still, then... You admit you are complicit in your guilt. The shadow knows. Uh, is that all? Is that all you can do? Is you know, 
like I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Do you, I mean other than that, you can you know that I feel guilty about that. Um, do, do, how, what do you like when you're in a synagogue? Oh, I avoid synagogues. Too much guilt. It overwhelms the shadow. Transition and transition and transition and transition. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, currently currently feeling uh, good about this podcast. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. This is finally the kind of podcast that I want to do. It's happening. Um, I guess right now what's uh, happening is a running commentary of, of how I'm feeling about the podcast, which is good. Although there's a part of me that is afraid that when I think it's good, uh, it actually won't be good or that it's terrible or that people will uh, find it not good. And that's my con- that's always my number one fear is that I think it's uh, I think something's good and then it turns out not to be good. And I'm like, what if I'm crazy? And what if everyone else thinks it's not good? And then what if the fact that I'm talking about whether or not it's good or not is in fact too meta, taking me out of uh, and taking the audience out of what might have otherwise been a really good moment with the podcast. And so now I feel like I'm just spiraling and it's just the spir- the podcast that was great is now terrible and I'm just spiraling and spiraling and spiraling into uh, a depression and something that is not worthwhile. And, and even then, who's listening to this? Uh, what, ah, mm, transition, 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 transition. Let's talk politics. Transition, 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 transition. Nose is a little bit running. I'm actually doing this in the car because uh, our apartment doesn't have heating. We've kind of entered the one week in the year where it's kind of cold in Burbank. I hate to admit that because I'm from Colorado and I feel like anyone who's living in Colorado right now would be like, oh, you got, uh, uh, you're in Burbank and you're complaining about the cold, blah, 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 blah. So then I just feel guilty about that. And uh, uh, But my nose is still running because, like I said, I'm in the car and there's uh, hot air blowing at me. Uh, I'm also, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed because I, I wanted to see Rogue One tonight, but the next screening isn't until 10.30. And I thought to myself, oh, that's too late. I'd rather, you know what it is? I would rather be near a toilet. I would rather be near a familiar toilet. That's where I'm at in my life. Uh, I'm still, I'm eating too much sugar. Uh, uh, and, uh, and I'm at the point where I would, you know, I, if I have to choose between an evening out and being near a familiar toilet, I'm going with familiar toilet. That for me is how I spend my Sunday. Being near a familiar toilet. This is the end of the podcast. The end of the podcast. And the children sing and the children play. This is the end of the podcast. I hope I don't get sued because I don't own the rights to the shadow.